What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking out this GTI on the road to teach you guys how to drive a manual transmission. So stay tuned. So before we head out, let's go ahead and show you how this particular gearbox is set up. So you have, when you push over to the front, you've got first gear, you pull back, that's second. You go up straight, that's third. You come back, that's fourth. You go up and over, like center and over, that's fifth. And then you come straight back, that's sixth. And if you wanna go into reverse, in this particular vehicle, you push down, go over, and then you're in reverse. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the pedals, you have the clutch on the far left, you have the brake in the middle, and then you have the gas on the right. So the first thing when starting the vehicle, you wanna make sure the vehicle is in neutral. You wanna make sure the car's in neutral, right? So in order to change gears, you have to push down on the clutch, and then you can move your gears to wherever you need to, right? Okay, so first thing to do when you wanna start the car, you wanna make sure the car's in neutral. The car is in neutral when it is not in any gear, it's sitting in the center spot, and that's when you can start the car. Foot on the clutch. When you let off the clutch in neutral, you're good to go, no issues. Now, this is the biggest part of moving the car in a stick shift is learning how this works. So. Think about it, when you're driving automatic, it, it shifts through the gears sequentially um, on its own. So you don't have to really mess with anything. So now what's happening is your foot becomes that, that transmission shifter, right? So we push down on the clutch, we move it in first. Now the key thing here, putting down your handbrake, that means you, you can you, you, the vehicle may roll. But here's the key, right? So when you're in the vehicle, foot down on the clutch. If I start to let off the clutch without pushing the gas, well, in this case, this is a newer vehicle. Older vehicles, it kind of shut off on you. So it'd do something like this. It start to shake a little bit and then it shuts off. Why? Because we're not actually engaging to move forward in that motion. So start the car, okay? So we're in first gear now, we're in first gear. This is the key, is the balancing act. As you let off the clutch, let me turn this off. As you let off the clutch, you wanna start by tethering the gas, right? So you start to tether the gas. Now, if you're ever in doubt and you're like, oh my gosh, what I do? You slam down on the clutch and you hit the brakes. And you figure out what you need to do to reset. So we're gonna go in first gear, we're gonna do our little tether, and we're gonna move forward. Now, as I'm coming off this bump here, I'm going to go down on the clutch and let the car roll over. And now I need to actually engage again to keep moving. So then I start to tether between the clutch and the gas. That is literally the key. Once you can understand that motion, then when it comes time to drive, you let off the clutch. We're moving, right? We're moving now. So you go down on the gas, listen to the car. We've maxed out long ago. Now you clutch, you shift to second gear, and the car moves. So you have to listen to the car in order to know when to shift. So that's usually, I mean, right here on this particular vehicle, that's somewhere between like 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs is when you can hear, you can start to hear that the gears need to be shifted. Right now, we're cruising along in third gear. There's no foot on the clutch. Everything's engaged, right? So the car is moving. Now, if you need to come to a quick stop, Clutch and brake. Move the car into neutral, then you can disengage the clutch, you're good to go. So you see that clutch is a key component of maneuvering and moving the car. So we clutch down, we're in first gear, foot on the brake, ease off the brake, start to let up a little bit, and tether. You should never get this kind of jerk forward movement, right? You should never get that. What you're, get, what you're looking for is a very nice, smooth, tether between gas and clutch if you need to slow down go back down on the clutch let off the gas you can't gas and be on the clutch you're not going anywhere so as you let off that clutch nice and easy and start to give it just a little gas now look at that i can take my foot completely off and just cruise through listening to the car time to change gears the good thing about this particular vehicle is it actually tells you on the screen when to change and that's based off of you know uh 
the speed you're going, the RPMs, and, and, and it, it's programmed, they programmed it for you to know when to change. So let's go ahead and just kind of go through what it's like, the process of driving in the real world in a stick shift now. So we're in third gear, you're basically matching your gear to speed, right? You're matching your gear to speed. So we're coming to a stop. So what do we do? We clutch, we go to neutral, and we start to brake. We've disengaged the, the, the gear. So now when we come to a full stop, we're not, the car's not gonna shut off on us. Because remember, if the car's in gear, it's expecting that we're moving, we're moving, right? So if I try to start, if I try to move the car in second gear uh, or third gear, we're not really gonna be able to move well and you're putting a lot of wear on that clutch because we're supposed to be in the first gear to pull off. So we're in the first gear, we're getting ready to pull off, we're looking for traffic, Foot is down on the clutch because we're in gear. Foot is on the brake waiting to start to do the tether so that we can start to move forward. So we're waiting our turn here, waiting. Traffic is coming. We start to see, okay, am I finding an opening? Not quite yet. You keep your foot on that clutch. You hold on to the brake. Now we see that we're getting an opening ready here. So now what we do is we let off the brake. We start to slowly do our tether and we roll. Listen to the car, shift. Right, so the thing is when you shift, you clutch, you shift, and once you're in that gear now, we can uh, let off. The only time that you're tethering is in first gear because you're actually now just starting to engage. You're, you're engaging the car to move, so that's the time that you have to tether. Other than that, you're trying to match your speed you're matching the gear to the speed. That's the simplest way that I can put it uh, in, in layman's terms for, for people to understand what's really happening. It's not hard. Once you learn, you will never forget. I learned how to drive years ago, and I don't drive a stick every day, but I've never forgotten how to drive. So once you learn, it's very easy. Okay, so right now we're in, four, uh, we're in second gear. We're up to third gear now. We're driving along. You're listening to the car. Sounds like we need to change. Okay, now we're in fourth gear. We're driving. And so I'm coming up to this uh, roundabout. So I'm actually just gonna cruise. Right now I'm in neutral. I've already clutched down, came out of gear. I'm in neutral, I'm going. So here's the key when I talk about matching the speed to the gear. We're entering the roundabout, it's clear. We're going, I feel like right about I'm in second gear. I can clutch, put the car in second gear and keep it moving. So there you have it. That's, that's in, in essence what it is um, in simple terms, right? In simple terms, trying to keep this simple so that people don't feel intimidated by having to learn how to drive a stick shift, right? So that's how it works. You clutch, you shift um, to the appropriate next gear. And if I'm gonna slow down, you don't always have to downshift. I, I don't really downshift a whole lot unless I really need to slow down fast. But for the most part, you're matching your speed um, to the proper gear. So like let's right now, we're, we, we clutch, we've gone into neutral. After a while, you get the gist of this. So based off of the current speed, I think we're still in fourth gear. So I clutch, go back into fourth gear, let off the clutch, re-engage the gas, and I keep moving. I'm coming up to a stop sign. I, can, I know I have enough momentum. I clutch, I go to neutral, and I start to brake. Start to brake, right? So here we are, we're coming up. We go ahead, we brake. And then we're getting ready now to go back into tether mode, right? So we come to our full stop, make sure it's clear. We clutch, we go to first gear, and we start that tether motion, and we roll forward. Listen to the car, it says, all right, time to shift. We go down to second gear, and we keep it moving. Now, it can be intimidating when driving a stick or feel intimidating because, you know, you're at a stop sign, people are behind you, you feel like, oh, what if the car shuts off? Don't worry about that. People will blow you and get upset because you're, you're learning, but don't be, uh, uh, you know, uh, don't feel like th those things happening. Don't let those deter you from learning how to drive, right? So as I'm driving now, in my subconscious, I can actually hear, I can actually hear and listen to the fact that, you know what, I need to change. So I'm supposed to be in fourth gear because you can hear the car. Um, now, if you're driving, right, and you say, I need to pick up speed, right? I need to pick up speed and move fast. Right now, we're in fourth gear. So it's like, hey, I need to pick up some speed. I'm gonna shift down to three and I'm gonna gas that thing. Listen to the car, shift. And that's what makes driving a stick shift so fun. It's very engaging. Um, it really lets you like 
drive the car. You know, not saying uh, you can't enjoy driving the car as an automatic, but um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of car enthusiasts really enjoy driving stick. So let me explain to you what just happened there. I was gonna make a turn, I started to slow down, I didn't come to a full stop, and then based off of the time that I engaged the brake, I knew that I was right at about second gear. So I was able to make my turn, coast into that turn, shift into second gear, let off the clutch, and keep moving forward. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna turn around, and uh, head back that way. And in that process, we'll show you what reversing looks like, what it's like to have to engage with the good old reverse. So I'm slowing down here, I'm gonna turn, I feel like I'm right about in second gear. If you ever slow down and you feel like, you know, I'm in the wrong gear, you're in second gear, you're taking a corner, just shift back down to first and go right back into your tether mode again. And you should be, uh, you know, in, in the right gear to do your turn. So, all right, so right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around, right? So we talked about the whole, um, well, let, let's demonstrate this right here as well. So we have a slight hill. This is a great example. We have a slight hill here. here. Now this is a newer uh, manual transmission. This car actually has the brake hold assist. So when you let off the brake, it holds it for a little bit uh, and then it releases it. So that actually helps with people learning how to drive stick so that you get that time to adjust your tethering between your uh, clutch and your gas. So now, um, if you're at a stoplight and you're on a hill, this is where it comes key to learning that tethering motion. You let off the brake, you you clutch down, and you, your car's rolling back, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? You hit the brake, okay? Reset, okay, reset. We put the car in gear, and then we let off and we start to tether. So one of the ways that you can test your ability to drive stick is to literally go park on the hill and do this motion, right? Do this motion, this back and forth rocking motion because it will test your ability to uh, manage that tethering of the clutch and the gas in order to know how to maneuver. So let's go ahead and turn around here. Let's demonstrate the reverse. So we come here, we're getting ready to do our, our uh, turn. We clutch down, and now when reversing, it's the same thing with reversing. You have to do the tethering motion as well as just, it functions similar like in first gear. So we do our tether, and then we come forward. Um, we do our turnaround, and we're good to go. So when it comes to reversing and first gear, yes, that's when you have to really um, master that, that, that shifting between the clutch and the gas. So as you notice there, I come to a full stop here, okay? Clutch, go over, down in, into reverse. If you look at my feet here, we're doing the same motion as we did in first gear, right? The same exact thing. So that becomes the key to um, really understanding and learning how to drive a, a, a manual transmission vehicle. So we do our check here. We wait for um, cars to, to pass. When it's safe, you're clutched, right? your clutch so you can actually shift to whatever gear you want you clutch we go into first gear and then we prepare to move forward okay so we're in first gear and then we do our tethering motion okay we're at a good spot get up okay boom clutch and go now you don't have to obviously drive um you don't have to uh, hold out the gas that long that's when you get to a point where you're very comfortable driving you know exactly what you're doing um, but again if you need to make a sudden stop you're gonna hit that clutch go into neutral and start braking right start braking so that you can get uh, to safety whatever pull off the side of the road or avoid an accident whatever have you so that's in essence the steps of learning to drive stick so this is this is a first attempt of sharing the information. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, send those. Send those right to me. We'll try to get you the best camera angles possible uh, to learn how this thing works, okay? So right now I'm just gonna drive. You can just watch and see the process and how all of that, you put that together to be able to drive on the street, pick up speed when you need to and just Enjoy and have a nice uh, spirited ride to wherever you're going.
And when you come to stop, make sure to pull up your emergency brake. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.